Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. 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 Brothers, I praise y'all that uh, we, we made it to another Sabbath. Praise, praise down. And, praise and, down. and that's the main thing. Yahweh has shown us mercy uh, to uh, be in the land of the living. <coughs> I think you and I were talking about earlier. <laughs> we were joking around. Uh, we were not joking, but uh, Brother Mick, when I yeah. said, uh, when Somo spoke about, you know, you can't praise Yahweh from the grave. Exactly. No. You know, uh, no, don't put me down. Let me be here mm -hmm. so I can do works that will glorify you. Yeah, so, again, everybody out there that's watching should be able to praise Yahweh and glorify him. But let you be able to, to be able to even tune in uh, yeah. to be in our right minds and good strength this Sabbath. But, again, welcome to the keepers of the house of life. My name is Yehuda Ben Israel, and starting to my left is Obadiah Ben Israel, Uriah Ben Israel, Mikael Ben Israel. Praise Yah, my brothers, uh, the keepers of the house of light. Who are we? We are brothers uh, dedicated to spreading the truth, love, mercy, and forgiveness of our Father Yahweh Elohim of hosts by and through His Son. Yahshua, the Messiah, the Lamb of Yahweh, the King of Israel, our Redeemer and Savior. So, at the bottom line, we are just here to teach and proclaim the gospel of Yahshua, who magnifies Yahweh's law and makes it honorable. But before we begin our Sabbath service of discussion today, we're going to begin with the reading of the Shema, which is found in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verses 4 through 5. And I think Elder Uriah, uh, will you uh, begin, please? Yes, sir. Right up. Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 4. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our Elohim is one out of name, and thou shalt love. Yahweh thy Elohim with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. Praise. And the Mishak added also in the book of Matthew. And I'm going to read just the first in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. Praise Yah, Brother Uriah. Uh, Praise Yah. That's the, you know, we certainly are two or three. We're four. And we're hoping and we believe that the, that the Mashiach is in, is in the midst of us. Mm -hmm. Because we're here to proclaim his gospel, his truth, and not our own. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and again, sometimes we get that mixed up. People want to, uh, they mix things up, and it sounds like more like them. Glorifying uh, themselves. Yes, yeah. sir. Glorifying themselves. To be seen amen. Exactly. So what we want to do at all times is give all that glory and honor to Yahweh. Because, you know, Johann the Baptist said when the Pharisees said, hey, we, we're sons of, Al, of Abraham. They mm -hmm. don't even say that. Because mm -hmm. Yahweh is able to raise up seed stone. or stone, mm -hmm. seed from the stones. Right? So, nothing is possible mm. to, Yahweh, to Yahweh at all. Okay. So, and that's the uh, and that's the beauty of why we're here today. Um, what we're going to be going over today is the fall of man. Mm. We're going to continue our discussion uh, in the book of Genesis, which is in the beginning of things, as told to Moshe. And so, in this beginning of things, uh, in our uh, last Sabbath service, uh, we were discussing the creation. So before we delve into uh, the fall of man, let's 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 go back and we want to recap some things from Genesis chapter one and two, uh, my brothers. If there's anything um, uh, that comes to mind, because we know in, in the creation, uh, Yahweh created heavens, the heavens and the earth, and all these things they're in. And man in the six in six days, mm -hmm. right? So we know 
when we get to the fall of man, when we start that, we know something took place. We're going to discuss that. But let's look at uh, Genesis. Uh, let's, let's recap anything in Genesis 1 and 2. And I think, Brother Mick, um, do you have anything, uh, let's start with you. Uh, is there anything you'd like to touch on um, that was in Genesis chapter 2? We're going to lower it a little bit there. Yeah, um, what I wanted to do from um, from the last Shabbat is just touch a little bit on, uh, well, well, let's go ahead and read and see what's still. Where do you want to go to, brother? Uh, Genesis 2, let's read um, verses, well, well, I'll read verses 21 through 25. So again, that's Genesis chapter 2, verse 21 through 25. Mm -hmm. And it reads, verse 21, And Yahweh Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And it took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which Yahweh Elohim had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. And they shall be one flesh. Mm -hmm. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. Now, when you go back to um, verse, touch on verse um, 22, where, where it talks about um, woman, which we know as Eve in this um, context, was um, Yahweh took a rib from Adam and Eve. Right. So what I grasp, what the Spirit brought is like, you know, in this day and age, we know, um, we know no, no one's perfect. You know, not a woman, not a man, but yet... They come together to form a, a, a honorable union, mm -hmm. okay. and then it's it, it's so much like we don't put enough on the man, put enough on the man as as you know as men. Like the way we deal with our woman, you know what I'm saying? The, the, she she came from us, so we should, you know, just like it speaks in the book, she is the weaker vessel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm not telling men to be weak, just be a little bit more understanding and patient. Because because it, it is like she did come from you. So in some instance, you should look at it like maybe that's a mirror of me. So however she acts is because of me, isn't it? If, if she came from me and we're one, right? Right. Yeah, you know, and I'm the head, you know, but what would what, 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 what I have to add to that? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Go ahead over. I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, with the woman being a reflection of her husband. I mean... It says, love your woman. I we read that. It says, love your woman like the Mashiach loved the church. Mm -hmm. Now, how did he love the church? Well, to oh, death, he gave his life. He laid his, he laid his life. life down. He was willing right. to lay his life down. Well, not just willing. He was able and did lay his life down for it. So, I mean, with that example, when I, I receive what you're saying, I mean, it, 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 it makes us, we have to go above and beyond mm -hmm. that which is required. So, mm -hmm. with them being the weaker vessel, yeah, we must learn to exercise patience be more understanding. Yahweh is patient with us. We're married to him. So if, if we put it in that frame of mind, seeing that we're married to Yahweh, well then, how does Yahweh deal with us? Is he patient with us? Long-suffering. Long-suffering. All the fruits of the Spirit. So right. And why are those getting thrown out the window? These are the things that we should be exercising and practicing. Right. And trying to strengthen ourselves in. Mm -hmm. yeah. But over, uh, Brother Uriah? Well, what, um, that's from what, um, you know, our brother Holy was saying, you know, we men, we have to exercise patience. We have to exercise leadership mm -hmm. in this body. Okay. Because if there's no leadership, of course, it's going to be um, a divided house, a divided kingdom. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the most high is not going to deal with that. We have to have a solid and a firm foundation of what they said, union. Mm -hmm. That's all I have to say to you. Well, and, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, even a, a song that stands out by um, Kamani Marl, I think it's Love Overall. And he started to say, you reap what you sow 10 times over. Now, in the, like, the first, my mind go through, okay, this is, like, be careful what you reap. But, like, if we're the head and and the head of the woman, so, I, like, we're we're constantly planting seasons. We're talking, we're teaching her. So, however she act, like, that's what you reap what you sow. So, whatever you put in her. That's what she, it's, it, it's a reflection of either who you are or what you're putting in. Well, you know, I think, particularly at this time of our of human history, particularly in the United States, and we look at things in the black community, that term, mostly mm -hmm. the Israelites, children of Israel, uh, 
what have you, you, you have so many uh, fractures uh, in the community. Of course. You know, marriage, mm -hmm. um, you know, I think the statistic is 75% um, of, of, quote, black American homes are headed, in, um, well, 75% are headed a single woman, mm -hmm. you know, or, and, and, and only 25% of those homes in America, black people are actually married. So you got such a breakdown of the family. And that's the, that's what this was. This is what this is. Mm -hmm. Adam, y'all uh, took a rib from Adam, mm -hmm. made him a woman. That's the family. That became not only a husband and wife, but that's this, that's the foundation of the family unit. A husband and his wife. Mm -hmm. And then they procreate. Mm -hmm. And they have children. So that foundation, I look at it, that's the foundation of the family, that's the foundation of communities, that's the foundation of nations, as we're going to get into later on about how our forefathers um, did the same, uh, Yahweh brought, uh, created a family um, with Abraham, mm -hmm. once we get to that. Mm -hmm. and, and Sarah created a nation, that came out of them, and through Isaac and through Jacob, his name became Israel, right? Mm -hmm. and, and here we are. So it's critical, you know. I think that's critical. But um, but I think what you're talking about also treatment of the woman. Or the, so that goes back to, and we'll, we can go to it in a moment. But you're supposed to treat her like it's your like the, she's your flesh. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. Yeah. Treat it like she's your flesh, right, brother? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make sure we, we got a little thing going. Yeah. So yeah. so if you love yourself, you should love her like you love your flesh. Exactly. Yeah, you don't hate your arm. Mm -hmm. man no man yeah. hit his own flesh. Right. So why are you, you know, but there there's so many things going on. Mm -hmm. And I just know just be real. And just, just be real. If you wanna be like men have to be honest with yourself. I I, I seen a clip of a little woman it, it, she was explaining why she has nothing to offer a man, but to lay down with her, but she broke it down. Like, you expect me to nurture you. Well, I have children. Like, I, she she basically summed up, be like, I never had a chance to be a woman. I was forced to wear the pants early, so I've never been in a position to be a woman. Mm -hmm. and, and, and she just broke it out. But it's like, and, and um, she said, what brought it to her mind, and just like Jay-Z said, you need to humble yourself a little bit. Men need to humble yourself a little bit. Right. You know, because we know the game, like, when a when when a man is bashing something, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily mean he don't like it. You know, men don't know how to communicate like they'll bash women. Like we, I know the game. You bash it because oh well, shoot, since I can't get him, I also just bash him. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And that's not the way to go. These right. man, our sisters, like people fail to realize during slavery, our sisters there too. Uh, our sisters was there too. Well, they, but yeah, we soon. I have to cut y'all. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No. But you're right. We, we forget that we were all collectively placed here in the Americas mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. We came here together. You know, you went to Jay-Z Tupac talk about that. And, you know, we got our game from one and that, but mm -hmm. we, I came, I don't know the lyric, but yeah, yeah, we no, said yeah. it's like this time we start respecting our women. Yeah, right, yeah. And I think that comes back to when you're coming into this truth, it's not for you to exalt yourself. It's an opportunity for you to it's for you to humble yourself mm -hmm. and try to heal the breaches. Mm -hmm. Don't break don't don't create breaches in your own family. But what happens is uh, elder is knowledge puffs up. Mm -hmm. So we got brothers that come into the word and start to get an understanding of who they are. Mm -hmm. And then what comes with that, the position in their relationship with the creator. Right. And then they get the baby. Yeah. And no one is there to Temper that and stick a pin. Exactly. Say, hold on. So hold on. You're going a little too far. That you yeah. want to say something? Uh, you know. Well, yeah. I, yeah. I've been looking at structure. Mm. You know what mm. involved in that union. Mm. You know, you have to be of righteousness because yeah. if that structure is not built on righteousness, something is going to go wrong. Oh yeah. You know, and next point which I'm looking at. You know, we said, oh, the woman is a weaker vessel, mm. but. Um, I've seen a little clip of something. I don't remember where exactly I saw the clip, but he said everything you give to a woman, she multiplies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what you gave, yeah, you gave her a seed. Mm -hmm. What? You gave you a a, a, a child. A purchase woman. It's not purchase woman. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You name it. Mm -hmm. You gave her a house, she make it a home. Mm -hmm. 
So she's right. pretty strong. Yes, right, right. So, you know, we have to know how to deal with these sisters. It's very go, important. And while we're talking about that, let's go, uh, somebody go, I'm going to go to First Peter. Uh -huh. um, and let's, let's look at that. Uh, and uh, someone in First Peter chapter 3, uh, 1 through 7. Because that, you know, when you said that, brother, that kind of uh, made me... Uh, uh, chapter three, I think. This, this is because when we talk about the family unit, that mm -hmm. husband and wife, right. um, that foundation, mm -hmm. and like you said so beautifully, uh, you gave a house, you gave you a home. Mm -hmm. you, you understand? So, but you have to have that leadership. You got to have that right spirit. Mm -hmm. You can't get puffed up with the knowledge, right, brother Obadiah said, right? And you got to be able with this brother here, but it makes it. You got to be able to look humble yourself mm -hmm. and look inwardly. Look at yourself. You know, nobody's perfect. Right. You know, no man is perfect, but one man that we know mm -hmm. who walked mm -hmm. in this law and uh, perfectly and, and was above the law because he was the word, he was the spirit in him. Mm -hmm. So this, this uh, somebody, when you better read uh, chapter, uh, th First Peter chapter 3, yeah. verse 1 through 7. Three. Okay, brother, thank you. Right. Yes, sir. First Peter chapter 3, verse 1. Likewise, you wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without, may without the word, be won by the conversation of the wives. Mm -hmm. while, they be, while they behold your chaste conversation, coupled with fear, whose adorning, let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair and of wearing of gold, or of putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of Elohim of great price. For after this manner, in the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in, the, in Elohim, adorned themselves, being in subjection unto their own husbands. Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him master, whose daughters you are as long as you do well, and are not afraid with any amazement. Likewise, you husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the wife as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. See, yeah. now, we, we, this is talking about, you know, women out, you know, how to be, uh, you just how to be a, you know, a, a, I guess, a virtuous wife, or a, uh, a, how a, a, a wife should uh, portray care of self. Mm -hmm. But now, we all know, but we just... You know, we hear the brothers constantly talking about, yeah, you got to subject yourself. Mm -hmm. But see, and you, you have to submit. But that's in the adversarial context. Mm -hmm. You're not coming from that spirit of Yahshua on the mm -hmm. You're not even coming from the perspective of how they handle themselves in antiquity. Right? Mm -hmm. Because they're telling you, in seven says, dwell with your wife according to knowledge. Mm -hmm. Give her honor unto the wife. Now, right there is where most people, some of us and, and, and men in this, who are even not in the street, they close the book. They don't want to talk about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What knowledge do you have? Mm -hmm. How are you having to understand? Like you said, all those different things. I, I think I cut you off a little over there. You were going to say something, I thought. No, 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 no. It, it just, it just it tickles me when we read this part. Right, like right. Praise God. It says giving honor. And it says uh, a lot of men nowadays in these times giving honor. Honor about it. No, I mean, it, it, I mean, I don't know where his mindset comes from. I'm just saying. Man, see, and those are the things that we have to. Mm -hmm. But if the children in that family, but see, that's the disruption that's happening now, yeah. particularly in America. That family unit mm -hmm. has been disrupted mm -hmm. in, among Black Americans, particularly mm -hmm. uh, with the numbers and America as a whole. But you see it more um, evident. Mm -hmm. In, the, in that black minority community in America. Mm. So now, how can the, 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 the daughter doesn't have a father right. in the home, right? That's so right. she doesn't see the, the, the uh, father honoring the mother properly, mm. right? So she doesn't know how to deal with the, that situation. So you got absence of fathers, and we keep, we want to blame that on the women. It's like Emily, you're right. We're talking about structure, mm -hmm. so they're, they're, they're lacking the structure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, and I think that's where you know we, we have to do that knowledge, giving honor to the wife mm -hmm. as the weaker vessel. It doesn't necessarily mean um, they are weak, 
in the sense, but you, y- Yahweh made you first. Mm-hmm. He made man, mm-hmm. he made Adam first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And he, going back from that rib, going mm-hmm. back to where we started from, he took that rib mm-hmm. from, uh, so man was made, as, we, as we've studied last week, Yahweh made um, Adam in his image, mm-hmm. right? Man in his image, which is Adam, right? Yep. And then he took a rib from the woman, from, from Adam, and made him a woman, mm-hmm. right? Yes, sir. And Adam said, now we're what? Bone, let's see, bone with my bones. bones. Flesh flesh my bones. Flesh. Were those vials? Yes, yeah, they're, they're, they're together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Would, would somebody uh, go to Matthew 19? Mm-hmm. And I think this is a good point, because we keep talking about um, that vial. Mm-hmm. Now, Brother Obi brought up a good point, that vial. Now, let's see what the Mashiach says about that. Brother uh, Uriah, would you go there, please? Matthew 19, and let's look at verses, uh, well, you can pick it up, I think, uh, three, or verse, you want to start at one, or you want to start at one, or you want to go to three? Let's go to three. Matthew chapter 19, verse three. Um, how, how far do you want me to take it? Um, take it to, um, I think it's 12. Start when you're ready. Just number 12. Again, we are in the book of Matthew, chapter 18. Um, chapter 18? Verse 19. Chapter 19. Chapter 19. I'm sorry about that. I don't know why. Verse 3. Yeah, I'm verse sorry, 3. The Pharisees also came unto him, camping him, and saying unto him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife for every cause? Now, mind you, Obi, we, we're talking about that reflection. Right? Mm-hmm. Obadiah, but Obadiah talked about that. It's not a vow. But he made, isn't that a, a covenant or a vow right. that, you know, Adam declared? Mm-hmm. So now let's deal with the Mashiach, the second man. Mm-hmm. You heard the first man said mm-hmm. out of his mouth, right? Yeah, so right. let's deal with the second man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? A uh, born of the spirit. Mm-hmm. Let's see what he says about it. Matthew chapter 19, verse 4. And he answered and said unto them, Have ye not read? Have you not read mm-hmm. that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? Right. And said, For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall cleave to his wife, mm-hmm. and they twain shall be one flesh. We just read that in Genesis 2. Brother Mikhail mm-hmm. started that. Yes. Okay. Verse 6. Wherefore they are no more twain, but one flesh. Mm-hmm. What? Therefore, Elohim have joined together, let no man put asunder. Mm-hmm. They say unto him, Why did Moshe then command to give a writing of divorcement and to put away her wife? Put her away? Uh, let's hold for one moment. Mm-hmm. So now we see that. Can y'all see that duality? Brother mm-hmm. Obadiah, you see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I mean, and Brother Mick, you see where I'm coming, where you mm-hmm. coming from? And we're just speaking about that law. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, you know, you know, Yahshua just gave that spiritual breakdown mm-hmm. of the creation. Right? Mm-hmm. Now here are the Pharisees. It it, 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 wait a minute. What did you just say? It wasn't two creations. It says male and female. Male and female. Mm-hmm. He didn't that's say that's single. Say, okay, so we have to go, there are no two creations. Mm-hmm. Now, I think, yeah, but we have to go with the text. Yeah, that's right. Right. Not with fantasies and what yeah. we're thinking. Mm-hmm. But I, I definitely uh, we, we, now you see the spirit is talking Mm. Now, they go to the letter of the law mm. in verse 7, the Pharisees. Now, they're going to give you that black letter law, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, now, let's see what they say. Mm. Verse 7. Continue. Yeah, continue. Continue. Start at 7. Continue. Okay. Verse 7. They say unto him, Why did Moshe then command to give a writing of divorcement mm-hmm. and to put her away? He said unto them, Moshe, because of the hardness of your mm-hmm. hearts, Suffer you to put away your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. Oh. Verse nine, and I say unto you, whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committed adultery. And whosoever married her, which is put away, does commit adultery. His disciples say unto him, if the case. After man be so with his wife, it is not good to marry. Mm. If that's something that never does it, well, <laughs> you're not going to get married. What you're going to be in, because you know you're going to a man is going to have a sexual desire. Mm-hmm. So oh, yeah. you're not going to marry. So what? Right. 
Right. You're going to burn. Yes, and, the and, the burn. and what you're going to do? You're not going to just burn. You're going to go out there and fart again. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And you're going to find nice. and you're going to find somebody mm. to mm. consummate that act with. Oh yeah. Outside the man. Oh yeah. And that's and now, now you're going to be defiling yourself. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. well, let's continue, brother. Continue. Verse eleven. Mm. But he said unto them. All men cannot receive this saying, say they, to whom it is given. Mm -hmm. The Spirit, okay. right. Verse right. 12. Huh? For there are some eunuchs which were so born from their mother's womb, and there are some eunuchs which were made eunuchs of men. Mm -hmm. And there be eunuchs which have made themselves eunuchs for the kingdom of heaven's sake. He that is able to receive it, let him receive it. See, so we don't have to really expound much mm. because when you're speaking at the, the at the time of Mashiach is speaking, the people, our fathers were in the land. Mm -hmm. We had, a, had their own law, the, the, the culture. That's right. Everything was intact. That's right. But we have been scattered to the four corners, right? Mm. And we are in a state of captivity. And guess what? I think it's somewhere in Isaiah 47. Um, if we look at, let's go to Isaiah 47 and let's see what has become of to us. Uh, Brother Mick, will you read Isaiah? Uh, we, we get there, go to Isaiah 47. And as I was thinking, praise y'all. Um, and let's just read. Um, let me make sure I got it here. Um, verse 6, Isaiah. Uh, this is, when you go to Isaiah 47, this is talking about the daughter of Babylon, which we have identified as, we're gonna, as America. This mm -hmm. is where the children of Israel are mm -hmm. in these latter days. And the Most High is speaking to his prophet Isaiah and telling him, um, th this is what has become of you, mm -hmm. and this is how you're going to be treated. So if you read verse 6. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 6. I was wroth for my people, I have polluted my inheritance, I have given them into thy hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient has thy very heavily laid thy yoke. Well, mm -hmm. Yahweh was angry with us. Roth means he's angry with Israel for mm -hmm. breaking his covenant, uh, an adulterous wife. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Because we we're married to Yahweh, correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's right. That's right. But here he says, I polluted my inheritance. So we've been put over here. So, of course, we don't keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. Of course, we don't do certain things. We have been, Yahweh allowed us to be what? Polluted. Yeah. So we're in several, our families, our marriages, the way we, everything. But praise God, he's bringing, he's bringing us back into knowledge now, mm -hmm. right? So we can't be so hard on ourselves because we've had to go through these things. Mm -hmm. You know, we, that there, there are factors that have been in place to, to contribute to the destruction of the family, to, dis, to, to contribute to the male in the home being um, rushed out. And becoming a figure of laughter. Mm. Can, 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 you you sure can. I want to share something, right? I was reading a book, The, the, the Making of a Slave by Willie Lynch. And, and what you were just delving in on, it, it actually just, it really put it in perspective because the breakdown of the family. Mm. I just wanted to read something from it if I could. You really made it. Right? Go ahead, bro. Okay. It says, this is um, from Willie Lynch. This is from Willie Lynch. Okay. This is mm. The Making of a Slave, right? Okay. So he says, um, it says, when it comes to breaking the uncivilized nigga, use the same process, but vary the degree and step up the pressure so as to do a complete reversal of the mind. Take the meanest and most restless nigga, strip him of his clothes in front of the remaining male. We don't want to be offensive. Yeah, we'll, we'll, say, say, word. we'll say the N word. Pardon? The female and the baby tar and feather him, tie each leg to a different horse in opposite directions. Set him afire and beat both horses to pull him apart in front of the remaining ends. The next step is to take a bulwark and beat the remaining end male to the point of death in front of the female and the infant. Mm. Don't kill him, but put the fear of God in him, for he can be useful for future breeding. Ooh. Right? Now, it right. goes a little deeper, but I want to jump over to the, the female. It says, understanding is the best thing. Therefore, we shall go deeper into this area of the subject matter concerning what we have produced here in this breaking process of the female end. We have reversed the relationships. In her natural uncivilized state, she would have a strong dependency on the uncivilized end male. 
and she would have a limited protective tendency toward her independent male offspring and would raise the female offspring to be dependent like her. Mm. Nature had provided for this type of balance, or Yahweh provided for this type of balance, mm -hmm. right? right? It says, but we reverse nature by burning and pulling one civilized end apart and bull whipping the other to the point of death, all in her presence. By her being left alone, unprotected, with the male image destroyed, this ordeal caused her to move from her psychological dependent state to a frozen independent state. Mm. Sounds familiar, right? They say, I'm an independent woman. Right. I mean, mm. brother, you see, in that, that Willie Lynch mm. um, writing, you know, you can't deny that those things happen in the slave enslavement and, as they say, what is it, the, the uh, breeding or breaking of the people. Yeah. So, our women, from since we've been in this captivity, mm -hmm. Brother, you just hit, they have not been in a, in a protected status by us. Because you were, uh, our male ego, our, our male structure was destroyed mm -hmm. in, in slavery. Mm -hmm. Now, it was just to the spirit and mercy of Yahweh that after that, our people still, that, that was a spiritual thing. They were still able to come together and marry and have families and have homes and, and in horrific conditions, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it doesn't negate what you just said, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Mm -hmm. you know, right? Yeah. Um, I, I was still locked on something you said earlier when you um, when we read, and then you said um, men will stop right here and will honor, show honor onto the big weaker vessel. Right? Okay. Let me let me, let me read something right here before um, I elaborate on what the Spirit brought me. Um, I want to go to Hebrews. Mm -hmm. Chapter 13, verse 4. Just that one verse. All right. Yeah. Chapter 4? Yeah, chapter, no, no, chapter 13, verse 13. 4. And I, I should have said this at the beginning of the class, please get your Bible, because hmm. um, we're going to have to keep up. Uh, we're going to be going back and forth on this book, obviously. This is our primary tool. Hmm. Praise y'all. Praise y'all. All right, so Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, Elohim will judge. Now, you said honor. Like, what's wrong with honoring your wife? Marriage is honorable. So what's wrong with honoring your wife? And I can hear men saying, well, you know, they got all the goods. They got all the jobs. Why should I honor them? But at the same breath, a man wants a woman to submit. But you refuse to honor. So how is she going to submit to you if you free? It's sabbatical. But at the end of the day, like I always tell you, I, I know this is hard to grasp, but as a man, you can't worry about a woman. Like, what man's worrying about? Like, I'm a man. That's what we're the reason why we're in America. Mm -hmm. Right. You the, 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 yes. the, the women fought. Whatever we did, like, like matter of fact, when it said, I, 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 I will pardon your, your, your wife, your daughter, um, they commit adultery. They commit adultery because it's the, the 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 judgment for adultery is death. Mm -hmm. No, because but because the men they was following you. That's the only reason they did it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But 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 it's it's accountability. No different than Adam. When when we look at Adam, Adam blamed the woman. What did the woman say? The, the woman admitted guilt. Be like, hey, I, I was the guy. Right. What we're going to segue, and we're going to you you. you but, that's right. And we're mm -hmm. going to segue. In, when we, in one moment, I'm going to cut you out. So oh, yeah, yeah. I cut oh. you no, but, no, I was going to segue into that, yeah. but that's the catch. Uh, and basically, I should read that to lead us back to Genesis um, chapter 2, verse 24, because this is structure, but we don't know Yahweh's thoughts are not our thoughts because the first relationship you would think would be mother and father. Mm -hmm. But here, it's husband and wife. Right. But that There's no first. other relationship called honorable in a book but husband and wife. Right. And what's that definition? It's a definition that we can have honorable. Mm -hmm. Honor, which means high respect, great esteem. Mm -hmm. And that's when the book, and even with Yahshua's word, I read earlier in the introduction, Yahshua uh, magnified the law and made it honorable. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he had to put that law that Yahweh gave to Israel to make it honorable mm. that, they, that that humanity one day mm. is going to hold 
the words of Yahweh in great esteem and yeah. respect and honor. Similarly, just as we should hold our wives mm -hmm. and our daughters mm -hmm. and the women in our community, we should hold them in great honor and, and, and great respect. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, there's no, um, again, you can get so much out of, of, of Genesis chapter 2 just by what, mm -hmm. we, 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 what you went into from 21 to 24 mm -hmm. about, again, uh, Yahweh gave him a helpmate. We're going to discuss that. But look, so that's just a couple of things that we wanted to talk about before you know, we, 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 we go into the fall of man, mm -hmm. uh, which is the subject of our uh, Sabbath discussion. But as you can see, there's so much meat mm -hmm. and there's so many issues that are apropos, applicable to where we are right now, just like you brought up, Brother Mikhail. You, you brought those things up and, you know, that it's on us as yeah. men. Mm -hmm. I think the, uh, early, uh, Uriah brought it up. Leadership. Mm -hmm. You know, you look at a situation, you're going to look at the head. You don't want to hold, uh, we were joking earlier, and we were talking about the kingpin, mm -hmm. uh, how oh. uh, the federal law, and uh, they're looking at a conspiracy, uh, uh, conspiracy tri uh, trial. They want to find out who's the kingpin at the top. Yeah, right. Who's calling all the shots? Mm. So, so when they catch the guys at the bottom of the structure, the criminal enterprise, mm. they'll be able to say, they're going to, as they say, snitch upward. That's right. They're going to tell on uh, the, guy, the people above them mm. and so forth and so forth, uh, so forth and so on mm. to the head. Mm. And we're going to see that. that. You don't snitch that. Hey, you don't snitch yeah. that. Snitch up. In face of the whole operation. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You ain't right, but uh, but but, 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 but the bottom line is that's what we're going to see right now. We're going to see that same uh, analysis uh -huh. of uh, beginning right now. We're going to go to chapter uh, three. Oh, before I'm sorry. Before, okay, I have to tell you because this is so relevant. Verse twenty four. Let me read it as it's written. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. I've, I've had sisters that tell me no. It's, it, it's telling the man to leave, not the woman. Nah, like at like it doesn't work like that. And one thing this tells me, like one thing, married couples should know: you never put no one before your husband. You all are one. You know, if there's order to things. You know, I, I see so many women, and I understand. You know, so many women they they, they put their child before. We 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 understand that. You know what I'm saying? But it's order to things. You know, we it's. It's so much foolishness going on on Facebook about, you know, um, questions that 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 stir up. You know, I, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Um, if people recognize, they know I, I used to do that. But then that's that's not what you want to do. You know, they like like a question that that arose. Who do you feed first in the household? We know it's the man. But if my wife feed the children, like really, right? I can sustain feed them first. You know what I'm saying? But. I, I, I don't need her to do that to show, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's what Yahshua, uh, uh, Peter, was saying. Well, you know, in your family unit, you have to deal with your wife according to knowledge. You got to have knowledge of common sense stuff. Absolutely. And common sense and ain't light. common. And, and that's what we talk about, that light of the word, mm -hmm. of this word. But you, uh, as we said in the new moon, mm -hmm. you don't, don't omit the weightier mm -hmm. matters of the law, mercy, judgment, and faith. You know, you gonna know, slap her and talk crazy to her. You know, that's not what it is. What you know, because in your home, I don't. That's between you and your wife of how y'all eat and, mm -hmm. and, and 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 what you right. how you do certain things. Yeah. Uh, but again, if you honoring her, like well, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure we move on. Yeah. But but like the brother said, you gave her a house, she'll give you a home. Mm -hmm. Now she some people exactly. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want it. They never. They may not have came out of a home themselves. Yeah. So a lot of times, particularly with us in this country, mm -hmm. the, again, the fragmentation and breakdown has been so severe. Mm -hmm. The young brother don't know how to be a I man. He ain't never had no man in his life. His mother probably did the best that she could for him right. with the example. Yeah. But he he may pick up on wrong role models okay. on TV. Radio personalities, mm -hmm. rappers, rock stars, whatever it may be, and say, well, this is how I should treat a woman. Mm -hmm. This is how I should be. No, that's how you degrade a woman. Mm -hmm. You follow that crap. Yeah. That, uh, 
that's how you are never going to have a functioning, decent relationship with a woman, mm -hmm. and vice versa from the woman. Mm -hmm. You you have to look at what you're giving your, you know, what are we basing these things on? When we look at the book, we're trying to uh, get a solid foundation to build our house on a rock, mm -hmm. as Yahshua said. That's right. But the book can't tell you every little aspect of everything. It's, it'll be 15 by long. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it'll fill a whole room. It can't give you every little thing to do. That's, right. That's why the spirit's in place. You know, you treat your wife uh, the way she should be treated, and and she should show you what you love her and she's going to do what submit herself yeah. meaning not like a slave submit that power yeah she understands she trusts you yeah how can you be with somebody and even going back to what you said over there about our covenant with yahweh mm -hmm. you know, yeah he said how can two walk together, walk together? yeah now we keep on going we go to amos three and figure out but we're not gonna but we can you got to be together you know, that one flesh. But he said, bone, you know, it says, uh, verse, verse 23, Adam said, this is now bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Mm -hmm. But what's what we're fighting to get to in this country? But we're, we're going through a lot of, people going through a lot of changes. Yeah, Society has changed a great deal since this time. No, so we have to pick up on that. We're not living 2,000, 3,000 years, and you're not going to go back in time. And, that, and you think that, that may not be what the, mm. the situation. But you're going to see, when Yahshua sets his kingdom up, you're going to see some things you've never seen mm. or heard of. You think there's going to be another transition? Mm. Just this? More wickedness? More yeah. unrighteousness? No. Because the wicked and the unrighteous mm. ain't going to make it. Uh -huh. So you're not going to be there. Mm -hmm. We're even talking about uh, call truck, mm -hmm. a story pot, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. You know, so now we're gonna get ready. Uh, just to give you a little segue, uh, we covered chapters uh, Genesis chapters one and two uh, last Sabbath, and we just did some. Um, uh, we covered and we uh, we tuned some issues here that from chapters one and two uh, to make sure that um, we recap some things. And I thank you, brothers, for. For bringing up that, because that gave a solid discussion. So, but now we're going to start into chapter three of Genesis. Genesis chapter three, where this is the fall of man. So we see the creation. We see man was created on the second day. Mm -hmm. Now let's see um, on the sixth day. I'm sorry. Now let's see what is going to take place. At what what occurs. We're, we're, we're in the seventh day round at this point, coming into that time period, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Coming at this point. So, uh, Brother Obadiah, uh, you had started uh, last week, last Sabbath. Uh, let's go ahead and pick that up in Genesis chapter 3, verse 1, and um, just read and, until, uh, take it down to uh, verse, um, just verse 19. You don't mind. Yes, Chapter sir. three, verses one, verse one through nineteen, and of course we're going to be discussing some things as we proceed. Mm -hmm. All right, Genesis chapter three, verse one. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which Yahweh Elohim had made, and he said unto the woman, Yea, has Elohim said, You shall not eat of the tree of the garden? Mm. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden. Elohim has said, You shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. Okay, so, Brother Obi, mm. um, you just read that there was a, now we see another being in the garden, mm. a serpent. And this is a, we, you know, he doesn't speak the serpent, but he's talking. So, 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 uh, any any thoughts on on this from one what we just read so far, right? Just from one th verses one through three. Anybody has anything well, to talk about? Well, I have a thought. Let me let's I, let's I'll, keep it. Yeah, I, 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 I want to read Matt because the Mashiach said the same thing because the serpent was wise because he had he had an agenda. You know, so you know, we know once that um once the woman once once man fell now, 
that made him, you, you, you know, he, this became his kingdom. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm going to go to Matthew, Matthew chapter 10, verse 16, just that. But I want to make sure we keep, I want to make sure we stay within these first three verses mm -hmm. so we can get, pull out what we, uh, what we need to pull out. Okay. So where we are, you're going to Matthew, Matthew 10, verse 16. Okay. Right. Okay, which reads, Behold, Matthew 10, verse 16, Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be you therefore wise as serpent and harmless as dove. Mm -hmm. So the reason I wanted to compare the two, because here the Mashiach is, is basically telling us how to seek his lost sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, be wise as serpent. Like, people don't know what we know. You know what I'm saying? If, if you just come talking to against something in, in a certain manner tone, they're going to come out swinging. Mm. You know, they, they don't understand. So that's why we were told to be as wise as the serpent because the serpent was wise. Mm. The serpent knew the law. But the serpent knew how to get what, you know, he, his, his, his goal was. You know? Well, I think that's where we're, 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 we, we see him being presented here uh, to the woman. And um, we don't really know. We know that that spirit of Satan in this being mm -hmm. that's speaking to her, uh, obviously in the garden. And but he, as you said, in verse two, it says, as he said, the woman Elohim said, that means Elohim is giving you the law, and that that was the judgment, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he gave them the law. Verse 2, the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden. And he says, we, Adam. Mm -hmm. Where is Adam? Right there, Where, right right there watching. Right there. He's, right he's, there. Not, he's not somewhere doing work yeah, right. in another part of the garden. Mm -hmm. he's, he's there. He's listening to this thing. And verse 3, but the fruit of the tree, she said, was in the midst of the garden. Elohim said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it. Lest you die. And you know, what's different by that verse in verse 3 we just read? Is that, she is that added, the law? She added a little bit more. She, she made it all. She magnified it. Yeah, she made it all. Yeah, yeah, don't even touch it. <laughs> right. And so now you have someone who is, what's the, um, who, who, who's very cool, subtle mm -hmm. about things coming and talking to you. And, but again, he goes to the woman, he doesn't come to the head. Mm. We didn't been talking about the man and the wife. That's right. You gotta have leadership. Mm. He didn't go to the leader. Mm. He didn't pose the question to the leader. Right. Right? Mm. So he almost disrespected Adam. He's gonna talk to the woman. Mm. Let's just say it that way. Mm. But what happens after? Continue, brother. Let's 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 see what we got. All right. Verse four, I think. Verse four. And the serpent said unto the woman, You shall not surely die. For Elohim does know that in the day you eat thereof. Then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Mm -hmm. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, mm -hmm. and, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. Okay, now, brothers, verse four. What did the um, what did the serpent say? Somebody read that again. Verse four. You can read it again, Obi. Yes, sir. Yeah. And the serpent said unto the woman, "You shall not surely die." He told a lie. Yeah. yeah. Verse one. And he and, and, and this thing about it, he subtle. Mm. He nuanced it. Yeah. Mm. Right. Mm. He said. He would not surely die because he knew something that she didn't. He, he knew something in a spirit. He understood something, obviously, that Adam and Eve didn't know mm. about death. They didn't know that, but he knew. Mm. So this was the first lie. Yeah, it's the first lie. It's the father of lies. Wow. Exactly, it's the father of lies. So he's starting out right now mm. telling the woman about Yahweh's law. Mm -hmm. And then he compared Yahweh. And it's almost when you think. Uh, he says, for in verse 5, what does it say? Uh, that then your eyes shall be opened mm. and you shall be as gods, mm. knowing good and evil. Mm. 
So now, maybe, now you got it in your mind. The way I look at it, what do you think? I got it. Like, you're putting it in a nuanced fashion, very subtle mm -hmm. to the woman. And then you're presenting, uh, maybe Yahweh, oh, uh, he, uh, he was holding something back. Mm -hmm. He ain't told us everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a reason. That there is a reason. But that's not, you're not supposed to come into that. Mm -hmm. That wasn't for you. Mm -hmm. I told you what was for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like we tell our children. Mm -hmm. That's not for you to know. I told you to do A, B, and C. That's right. And you took it upon yourself. Because when I was growing up, I guess I could say my friends, uh, something said did it. My mother would say to me, something like, um, I'm your mom. Mm -hmm. Such and such ain't your dad. <laughs> you do what I say do, not what he, your mm. friends say do. Mm. Yeah, the buck, it goes back to what you were saying earlier. The buck stopped with right. Adam. Mm. Yeah. The buck stopped with him. Because it was given to him, and he told his wife the law, right? That mm. one law. That yeah, one law. That's all. In that, and I think Uriah and I had a discussion about that last Saturday. I wanted to get with, 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 with what Uriah was bringing up last when I said that that, that that was the first law given to man which was Adam, right, of that law. But the brother was explaining, I want to make sure I get clarified, but he was saying that everything was law. That Yahweh put, it's all creation was created out of law, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so I want to make sure that what he was saying last week, if there was any um, misunderstanding, he can speak for himself, but what he said, uh, with my understanding, but, so when he breathed that breath of life, he became a living being, a living soul. Well, well, he wasn't a baby. Mm -hmm. He had knowledge. Yahweh gave him knowledge mm -hmm. yeah. of the law of the creation. That's so true. he already had knowledge of, 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 of creation. Of, of, and those things are put together by law. Mm -hmm. But we always see the sun rise in the same place, right? That's right. That's right. That's right. Never change. Yeah, it never changed. It didn't change that. There have to be a structure. It's a structure. It's structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, so, so with that, I just wanted to, uh, you know, keep moving on. But let's let's.